Hello, my adorable Tanukis in the sky, and welcome back to Memory Lane Gaming. I am your host, the Tanuki, in a Tanuki suit. And today we will be finishing World 5 in Super Mario Bros. 3. Let's see if I can fail at this. Oh? Oh? Can I do it? Can I? Fail. We'll start with level 6. Get it out of the way, hopefully. This is one of the hardest levels in the entire game. And, uh, I'm not sure, but I assume this is probably the White Mushroom House level. Off the top of my head, I don't know if I've ever gotten a White Mushroom House in World 5. There's, there's a White Mushroom House in every world with the exception of 8. Get away from me! Well, if it is th this one, we'll never find out. Nope. Yep. Nope. 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 Got it. Whew. That actually gave me a bit of a headache because of how <laughs> stressful that that uh, Lakitu was. Cause I was... Oh, crap. My inventory's full. That means any in anything that I pick up that goes into my inventory will automatically replace the last thing. Move on to level 7. Level 6 went a little bit smoother than I thought it would. Well, that was a bad idea. Run! You're a jerk. I hate you. Hope you go to hell. Yeah, that was my own fault. If I hadn't already finished an episode, uh, a level, there's a good chance I might actually uh, reload. Because that was a stupid way to lose my Tanuki suit. Almost as stupid as that, but... Yeah, worth it. Let's jump down the hole. I never did really understand the point of this star. There probably is a point to it. But you can't go through the pipe when you have a star. There is a whole bunch of stuff over there. But I don't... Like blocks and stuff, but I don't remember if there's anything in it. I don't think so. Well, that works. Crap. 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 Alright, let's see if we can get another one up. We'll do it or we'll, we'll die trying. Um, gotta get rid of some of those guys. They were getting too close. I got it. I screwed up my star, but I got the one up. And really, I'm okay with that. I don't really need the extra lives right now. Hmm. I was close. I was not close. Alright. Moving on to the fortress, which is a very unique fortress. Because there is lava on the ceiling. You can't really tell, but there is lava on the ceiling. See? Crah, number 
she ca crap. <sighs> I was hoping that with my jump, I could grab the star and just keep running all in one motion. I don't feel like that actually hit me. It was extremely close, but I don't think it actually did. Hitbox was a little weird right there. Oh well. I said that we didn't really need the lives. I may have lied. Well, landed on my head. I was gonna have it bounce right in front of me and then... Come here! Come here! Yeah! My butt is dangerous. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme! Worth it. I have died in that pit. I'm very proud to say that. Alright, let's make this an actual fight. Why is it that every single time that I let him fly, I die immediately? Oh yeah, because I suck. Whoa, don't want to kiss you, dude. Yay for pointless music boxes. Speaking of pointless music boxes. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Because the music boxes are relatively pointless, because I actually do fight all the Hammer Brothers, uh, normally it would put the Hammer Brothers to sleep and allow me to skip them for a few turns. But since I do face each one of them... Oh, you jerk. It's kind of pointless. Yeah! Well, he's not there. Okay. I really like the, uh, the castle music. Alright. We're gonna do this. Or, as usual, we will die trying. We will die trying. That's okay, we got a whole bunch of shit that we need to use anyway, so... No! Well... Um... So that happened. Welcome to the longest episode in Memory Lane Gaming. <sighs> I I don't even I don't even know what to say really. I guess I'll just pick up some more Tanuki suits or something.
I'm pretty silent because, uh... I can't believe I did that. And yeah, I could restart the recording. But I don't want to. It's that simple. You're just gonna get an... an uh, extra long episode. It's that simple. And you're going to like it. I'm not going to be replaying every single level, as you know I've already skipped one. I actually didn't realize that I could, uh, restart worlds like that. And I wasn't about to go to world six. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna skip levels. I mean, not in the grand scheme of things, I'm not going to. I'm going to skip some levels here. Because I've already played these levels. But you're gonna see me play each level at least once. And finish them, by the way. Okay. I feel like an idiot. Huge idiot. But, mistakes happen. See? Coins. I'm a little surprised that... that, uh... there's no... there's no boss or anything at the end of this. I mean, there's... at least... They could have, uh, they could have gave me a, a portion that had, like, Lagatou or something. Something to make it a little bit more challenging. Then just, uh, you enter the final tunnel, there is a turtle and a vine. And that is your challenge. Oh, barely made that jump. Not gonna worry about this guy, we've wasted way too much time already. On the plus side, I will be picking up another Tanuki suit. There's nothing in that other pipe, by the way. Come back. Little showing off right there. Got myself another star. Pick up another mushroom house, because we need those. Pure sarcasm right there. But it is a Tanuki suit, so I will take it. Go ahead and pick up another end card. I know where that is. Hmm. I thought I knew where that was. Apparently not. Skip the spade, because I don't care about it. Well. That did not work. That's good enough.
We're just gonna go ahead and fly. Whoop. Whoa. Double kill. Pick up a mushroom. Ruin our star. <laughs> Mushroom. Well, that's worthless. We got a lot of shit. Put him to sleep. Grab a star. Not necessarily do we need it. But, uh... We have too much stuff in our inventory, so I'm using some of the stuff that I consider more useless. Thought I had another cloud. Guess not. It would have been nice if uh if the fortresses fortresses had stayed beaten. Or, you know, the one that I beat, I guess. Because I didn't beat this one. Yeah, it's, it's technically lava on the ceiling, but it's technically not. Hitting it doesn't hurt you, I'm fairly sure. But, uh... It still spawns fireballs or potabos. I let him fly, and he jumped in midair. What a jerk, jeez. Alright. We're caught up to where we were. Take this guy out quickly. Pick up another useless music box. Alright, eight. Oh yeah, I remember eight. So, growing up, for the longest time, I there was only one person in my life that I knew that could beat this game. And it was my mom. Whoa. I'll take it. <laughs> and, uh... It's funny. She She's the only person that I knew for the longest time that could beat the game, but... She would always use her cloud on level 9 here. Every single time. Because she hated this level. This is an extremely unique level. And that it's just, it's all platforms. With the, uh, bomb, fire spewing bomb thingy that chases after you. After a bit. But, uh, it's a di diagonal scrolling level. Whoa. I screwed up. It's a diagonal scrolling level, which is, there is no other diagonal scrolling level in Super Mario Bros. 3. In fact, if, if I, if I'm remembering correctly, there is not a, a diagonal scrolling level in Mario besides this one in the entire series. With these guys, once they shoot all of their fire, they will then try to basically hug you and explode. I would have I would have shown it to you, but this level is challenging enough by itself. Oh, there you go. Now you're seeing it. Alright, another Lakitu. 
not messing with him. Episode's running long to begin with. But I told you, I promised you, we would finish this. And we will. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Let us find the magic wand so we can change him back. Yeah. Not really sure what that was about. I miss my Tanuki suit. I miss my fire suit. I'm happy I got my fire suit. Oh, hey. Little trick right there. Make the level much easier. Whoa. Well, bananas. That's what I was trying to do. Go. This is Roy. He is the first of the stompers. Look at that. When he jumps, when he lands, he shakes the ground and he will stun you if you are also on the ground. There are only two of the Koopaling stompers, as I refer to them, in the game. Roy and Ludwig. My... My mother also liked using a P-Wing on that ship so that she didn't have to deal with him stomping. And that is a hell of a beard right there, man. Here's a letter from the princess. Greetings. Be careful in the ice world. Creatures trapped in the ice will come to life if warmed. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. All right, finally, finally done with World 5. Next episode, we will obviously be tackling the Ice World. Um, World 6. It's, it's a pretty long world. I'm going to, uh think on it a little bit, but there's a there's a chance that we may split this into three episodes. There's a chance. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, this has been Memory Lane Gaming, and I've been your host, The Tanuki. I hope you enjoyed your extra long episode of stupidity. Thanks for watching, and join me next time.